So this question provides us with a system of equations. Whenever we have a system of equations question, we should be considering the use of elimination as a process to solve that system or substitution. But typically on the SAT, it's going to be elimination. So the question says, in the given system of equations, P is a constant. So there is my P. If the system has no solution, okay, that is a huge hint, has no solution, what is the value of P? So what does it mean for a system to have no solution? It means that both X and Y eliminate when we're using the process of elimination for solving our system of equations. And rem the remaining, I'll call it, right, which is just the numbers that remain. So the remaining is not true. And we'll understand what that means in a second. So let's start off with trying to solve this using elimination and seeing if both X and Y will eliminate. Um, so it looks like I have things that are a bit off pace. It looks like I have a two Y terms here, which I can combine. Um, I have a Y on the, on the right side here. So I'm going to just clean this up a bit. And let's use a different color so you can follow what I'm doing. So I'm going to add three halves y to both sides of this first equation. Three halves y plus three halves y is six halves y, which would be equal to three y. Six halves equals three. So this becomes three y minus one fourth x equals two thirds. Okay. And then for the bottom equation, I want it to be in the same exact order. So I'm going to start off with my positive PY. So I'm going to put that under here. And now I want my X term over. So that means I need to, I'll use a different color, bring this one half X over to the right hand side. In order to do that, I'd have to subtract one half X from both sides. So I would get a minus one half X here with my PY. And then I have my nine halves here, but I, it has a like term with the three halves. So I also need to subtract three halves from both sides. And nine halves minus three halves is equal to six halves, which is equal to three. So this would just be equal to three. Okay, so the first rule of um, a system having no solution is that both X and Y must eliminate. They must both cross out. So how do I get my X term to cross out? Because I don't know how to get my Y term to cross out because I don't know what P is. But I do know how to get my X term to cross out. And I can get that to eliminate by multiplying by negative one half. Because if I multiply by negative half, my X term will become a positive one fourth, which allows it to then cross out with my negative one fourth. So my new second equation would say negative one half p y plus one fourth x equals negative three halves. So then that again allows me to cross out my one fourth x. Now again, the way this works is that whatever I multiply by to cross out one of my variables should also automatically cross out the other. So because I know that, that tells me that this negative one-half P here has to be equal to, negative one-half P must be equal to negative three. Because if negative one-half P were really just negative three, then it would be able to cancel out with my three Y because I'd have a negative three Y there. Hopefully that makes sense. I need P to be a value that causes negative one-half P to equal negative three in order for both X and Y to eliminate. And that is how, or that is what we'll always see as the case when a system of equations has no solution. So all I really have to do to solve this is to solve this equation here. I can multiply by negative two. That crosses that out, leaves me with a positive P is equal to positive six. And therefore, the answer here is positive 6. So 6 is my p-value. It allows for both x and y to eliminate. Um, the remaining is not true. Like that ended up not all being all that important here because, in fact, if we did that, if we did that, we just have, we would have, I just want to make sure you see it clearly. So I would have 3y 
minus 1 fourth x equals 2 thirds. And I would have, instead of negative 1 half py, I'd have negative 3y uh, minus, no, plus 1 fourth x equals negative 3. And that's why this will cross out, this will cross out. I'd have 0 equals whatever this is. And whatever that is, is not, right, it's not equal to 0. So that's the part that's the, the remaining is not true. If this said 0 equals 0, we'd have a problem. That would be a system that has infinitely many solutions. But in this case, we have 0 does not equal whatever 2 minus, I'm sorry, 2 thirds minus 3 is. So that's why correct answer is 6 here.